for pitifully little remuneration. The homeless forced to live out on the streets. Children dying of malnutrition. And many similar problems, all ultimately stemming from poverty, occupy the attention of the entire world. Even in such a wealthy country as America, the number of people living in poverty has trebled in the last 20 years. The only way to put an end to such injustice is for the wealthy to turn to the morality of the Quran. To sacrifice a part of that wealth and help the poor and needy. Not to inflict things they would find disagreeable on others to help others for the sake of helping and not to show off or to further their reputations. The solution that will bring with it social peace and justice is the adoption of these moral virtues. God has revealed how materially powerful people should behave in Surah 24. Those of you possessing affluence and ample wealth should not make oaths that they will not give to their relatives and the very poor and those who have left their homes in the way of God. They should rather pardon and overlook. Would you not love God to forgive you? God is ever forgiving, most merciful. In the Quran, God explains how the wealthy should address the needs of the poor. For instance, God says that some part of the goods of the wealthy actually belong to the poor. And from their properties was given the right of the needy petitioner and the deprived. In the Quran, God draws attention to honorable people who remain silent on the subject of their poverty, and he recommends that their rights be protected. Charity is for the poor who are held back in the way of God, unable to travel in the land. The ignorant consider them rich because of their reticence. You will know them by their mark. They do not ask from people insistently. Whatever good you give away, God knows it. One of the most important consequences of world poverty is the refugee problem. Hopes for better job opportunities or better living standards, or else struggle and scarcity have resulted in mass displacements, thereby causing serious conflicts between countries. Another influence that forces people to migrate is war. The violence of war and the poverty that follows on its heels have forced many people to leave their homes. Because in the war in Kosovo in March 1998, the dislocation of more than 300,000 Kosovar refugees who fled on foot left almost all of the cities in the country deserted. Meanwhile, 
The severe cold caused the loss of many lives during the flight. Many countries refused to accept the refugees, despite being perfectly capable of doing so. When people come to live by the values of the Quran, however, they will be very different. They will always defend the rights of the poor, the suffering, and the exiled. One of the finest examples of this superior morality possessed by Islam is the way that the Ottoman Empire opened its arms to the Jews who were exiled from Spain in 1492 and sheltered them in the best manner possible. The very best examples of self-sacrifice occurred during the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Muslims of Mecca fled the city because of persecution by the pagans there. Abandoning their homes, they were forced to flee to Medina. The Muslims of Medina made enormous sacrifices to help them and shared all they had with them. God describes these exemplary Muslims in the Quran. Those who were already settled in the abode and in the faith before they came love those who have left their homes in the way of God and do not find in their hearts any need for what they have been given and prefer them to themselves even if they themselves are needy. It is the people who are safeguarded from the avarice of their own selves who are successful. Salvation for mankind lies in the restoration of the superior morality that offers what it has to others for the sake of God's good pleasure, regardless of his own needs. The rage felt against other races is responsible for the majority of conflicts, fighting, and civil wars around the world. Racism or ethnic enmity is the source of this conflict. As they passionately maintain the superiority of their own race or ethnic grouping, those who believe in such ideologies harbor hatred for others. In their view, the differences between races and nations justify conflict and competition to the death. In recent times, this ideology gave birth to the savagery of Nazism. Solely in the name of racism, the Nazis wreaked terrible mass slaughter on millions just because they were Jews, Slavs, or Gypsies. There is no place for racism in the morality of the Quran. In the Quran, God declares that the various nations and tribes exist so that people might come to know each other. A believer is well aware that the only criteria of nobility is fear of God, as God made clear in the following verse. The noblest among you in God's sight is that one of you who best performs his duty. God is all-knowing, all-aware. The catalyst for the most dreadful disasters of our times was regarding differences between people not as an opportunity for cultural